welcome to this uh, JDF special of Why So Serious. In screen one of the i5. I looked like I was going for one when screen I was in fact going to aim yeah. at her. <laughs> screen one, look at the opulence. Uh, Brogan. Rory. Crew. Hi, crew. Hey. <laughs> um, we're going to discuss our top three picks for the Jemison Dublin International Film Festival, which runs from the 14th to the 24th of February, 2013. Pick number one. Pick number one is Far Out Isn't Far Enough, the Tommy Unger story, which is a documentary about the best kids author, kids book author that you've never heard of, because he was huge in the US in the kind of 60s and 70s, but at the same time he was writing his kids books, he was also drawing pornographic cartoons. And uh, this was frowned upon. And so he kind of disappeared from public life, and it's all about what he did and where he's gone, and it's fantastic. Great. So go see it. My first pick is uh, John Dies at the End. Does he? Spoiler. <laughs> um, it's one of the funniest books I've ever read, uh, and the film is based on that. It's about two kind of 20 tw something dropouts of life who come across a uh, mysterious substance that allows them to see through time, through space, and into parallel uh, universes, but those things in the parallel universes can also see them and perhaps can jump into their reality. It's a completely warped uh, comedy horror. Jokes um, are bad. Jokes are bad. Jokes okay. are bad. Uh, but I am going to see that, like, aren't we? Mm. Cool. 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 My second pick is Bernie. It's the Richard Linklater, Jack Black film. Jack Black was uh, Golden Globe nominated for his performance in the film. And it's about a very quiet, unassuming guy who made friends with a wealthy widow in a small southern town and then killed her. And it's based on a true story. Is that the whole film we've just given away? No, no. Um, it's based on a true story. And um, they made a really interesting choice to use townspeople who actually knew Bernie, the guy, to um, describe him and what happened. And then, you know, it's mixed with fiction and all the rest of it. So it's like a documentary and an, a reenactment with famous people. Yeah, sort of a mockumentary sort of thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so go see that. Mm. Um, my second choice is Side Effects, which apparently will be Steven Soderbergh's uh, last theatrical release. Again? Again. <laughs> uh, it stars Rooney Mara from Girl the Dragon Tattoo remake, um, Channing Tatum, Catches Either Jones and Jude Law. It's about a woman who suffers from uh, depression goes to see a therapist he prescribes her uh, a new on the market medication and that medication has some serious side effects Ooh. and uh, from there everyone's lives begin to unravel it's very good I've seen it already mm. so I'm recommending it for the people it's very good very intelligent very adult thriller and uh, quite a bit of fun as well More, in my opinion one of Soderbergh's best so yeah. he's going out on a high absolutely uh, so go see that mm, do it both of you. Both of these cameras. Mm. What was my third one? It was A Place Between the Pines. Mm. Um, my third one is A Place Between the Pines, uh, starring Bradley Cooper, Ryan Gosling, Eva Mendes. Uh, just mm -hmm. a lot of attractive people. Just pretty, pretty people. Like when I seen it was Cooper and Gosling, I was like... Done. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much handsome in that film. You're going to have to like, burn the chairs after every screening. <laughs> <laughs> get new ones in because they're just water damaged. <laughs> they are soiled. 120 euro each soiling charge for everyone who goes into that screen. It's directed by De Derek Keenfront who did Blue Valentine and it's the story of a bank robber and a cop who's chasing him down. Yeah. Who's who? Uh, but that's for you, for you to find out. Or it's very obvious trailer. from the trailer. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah. All right. So then my final one for, the, my, fu my final pick for Jadif is the surprise screening. I know it's a bit of a obvious choice, mm. but even when it's bad, it's still fun. a lot of fun to go to. There's like a buzz in the air and everyone's like, oh my God, what's it going to be? Could it be better than last year? It will be better than last year. What was last year's <laughs> one again? There were two last year. There was yeah. Casa Jimmy Padre and This Must Be The Place. Well, This Must Be The Place was all right, but I think everyone guessed that. Yeah. Casa Jimmy Padre, I had no idea. Um, no. And that was half the fun, was not knowing what I was going to say, and it's the same this year. I really, really hope they, you know, pick something great. What's your guess for this year? Uh, Mud. Mud. The new um, film by the guy who did Take Shelter. Yes, my choices for uh, this one are between The Odd Life of Timothy Green, mm. 
and uh, trance. Mm. I would like it to be trance. Yeah, I'd like it be, to be trance as well. Because I think that would make everyone happy. Yeah. So that's uh, our picks for... Jadif. Jadif. Mary, have you got any picks before you collapse along? <laughs> um, the only thing I can think of is what to do. Much Ado About Nothing? It's already sold out. Yeah. So if you've got tickets, great. I'll see you there. But if you don't... Sorry. We'll just laugh at you from <laughs> at home. <laughs> Brian? Robot and Frank. Nice. Robot really, and Frank. Really Robot and Frank. As someone thought it was. Yes. Which would have been great. Nice choice. Nice choice. Frank Langella and a robot. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our choice for JDF 2013. Yep. If you want to find out more, go to jdiff.com and we will probably see you around the festival. Yeah. Uh, and as the festival's going on, I'm sure you'll be updating on movies.ie. Yes. And, and I will be updating on entertainment.ie. So. Stay tuned. Until then. Lordy. Brogan. Crew. <laughs> and we will see you for uh, our Oscar, our Oscar one. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, the end of the month. So, goodbye.